I guess I have to actually check the uh, the brackets. Imagine that. Ah, here we go. Okay, this is the winner's bracket. Good to know. All right, welcome to our next game. We're going to have a ZVZ between Heartland Hitman's Kingslayer in the bottom left as our pink Zerg. On the top right, we have Heartland Hitman's Mats. And ZVZ, this is going to be the first ZVZ of the day. And we'll see how this goes. This is going to be our Platinum Bracket. Again, we have our Gold, our Platinum, and our Diamond Brackets. This is the Winner's Bracket. Both of these players have won their first match. Kingslayer, actually, in our last tournament, is the one who went all the way. Quite impressive, so I'm curious to see how he will do against Mats, who has been nicknamed Dong Regu, because he basically just... He was in Silver League, and he just plays like a diamond. So... Good, good games should be coming. And we have pretty mirrored openings from both. No cheeses, no six pools. No ten pools, even. Going to have what might be a... Scout or a hatch first? That's going to be a scout from Matt's early drone scout, not relying on just his overlord. Kingslayer is... nope, changing his mind. Might have sent that out just a bit too early. Alright, he's gonna go pool first. I think he was thinking about hatch first. Had second thoughts and went pool first instead. A little bit safer. We do have nothing in production for Matt's. And there's the hatchery first. Alright, so hatchery first against pool first. Mats will come out with a slight advantage in this, just because this pool isn't fast enough to punish a hatch first, and hatchery first will get you more production and more economy quicker, right off the bat. Kingslayer now going to get his expansion up and running. We should see a pool from Mats. Oh, going gas! Alright, so he's seen that he's not getting cheesed, so he's getting gas before pool, before, which is then after hatch. Interesting. This is going to mean a very early speed. Might be getting some banelings as well. Quick tech does delay the pool a little bit, but he is safe and he knows it. So he is very much able to do this. Alright, gas finishing for Kingslayer. Likely to see some Ling Bane Wars. Which then very, very rapidly turn into the Muta Wars. Muta versus Muta is the new uh, metagame for ZVZ, and it is tough to break. I've seen some attempts, but Mutalists are just so good now, and with Infestors having fungal growth as a projectile, it is so much harder for a Zerg to stop a Muta flock, which is some beautiful irony. But a lot of times it will come down to gas counts, third bases, who gets the armor upgrade on their Mutas, we do have four links coming in here, actually able to do a little bit of harass. Might get a kill, even. Oh, he wants to get a kill. He is delaying mining by quite a bit. And, oh, those two very hurt drones in the back. He's just not... Oh, okay, there goes one. I believe. Yes, okay, he has actually killed two drones so far. And now it's just going to be three drones. Three drones have gone down to this little harassment of four links. Definitely, definitely worth that investment. And Zerg versus Zerg is a game of drones. When you, I forget the rest of that joke, so we will just go with it. Ha ha ha! Game of drones. Anyway, um, we do have a Baneling nest coming up for King, and likely to see one for Mats as well. Yep, there it is for Mats. So Baneling, Ling Bane versus Ling Bane. If we can get past this stage, which I never can when I play ZVZ, and I'm terrible at it because of that. I always just get overrun by a million billion Lings in about three seconds. The control required, the micro required, is absolutely phenomenal. Phenomenal. Speaking of drones, we do have more for Kingslayer. Significantly more. Partially from that early harass, and it looks like... Mats is investing a little bit more into units at the moment. And once those banelings are done, this is going to be much, much more difficult for Mats to get in there. 
trying to kill that Bane Lane, will not. Sacrifice is a Zergling, not a huge loss. But you need those Bane Lanes to hit at least, say, three or four Lings to really be worth it. So if you kill it with one or two Lings, it's a good trade for you. If you run face first into it and lose eight Lings, obviously that is not a good trade for you. That is what the Ling Bane Wars are all about. Getting a defensive Spine Crawler. Already have one up for Kingslayer. Getting a second one, so... Kingslayer looking to play for a longer game, it looks like. Yep, getting more gases. And we'll likely see a lair pretty soon. Do have a lair almost already done for Matt, so if Matt is going for Muta, he will have the edge. And in Muta versus Muta, if you have more Mutas, you win. That's usually kind of how it goes. It all comes down to that Muta count. There are certainly other factors, like positioning and Spore Crawlers and Queens and Transfuses, and if you get a lucky Infestor shot. But generally, he who has more Mutas will win. So we do have a big attack coming in here for Kingslayer. Banelings actually kill the Banelings that were making for Mats, taking down the Spine Crawler very quickly, but there should be enough Lings to push this back, as well as another Baneling coming in from the back. And he is just fine, so that was frightening, but will not end the game by any means. Pushing the back, and he's going to have to rebuild some units behind that. 12 Lings on the way. 20 Lings on the way for Mats. And a Spire, so we are going to see Mutas from Mats. Alright, Kingslayer getting that lair just finished up now. And there's a Spire of his own, but he is going to be behind in the, in the Muta race. Mats also needs to start getting some guys in gas. Also needs to saturate this base a little bit more. Is well behind in the drone count, actually. That's very frightening. Not a place you want to be a Zerg. Ton of units being made behind this. He is joining behind this. He has nine drones on the way. Which is definitely good. I'm not sure how much damage this will do. This will all come down to control. And the spines are just going to make quick work of those Bane... Oh, huge Bane hit at the end there. Kingslayer got a little bit ahead of himself. Some nice hits of his own. And those spine crawlers with those Lings buffering should be enough to keep this back. He is going to get the scout down, but isn't going to be able to do any significant damage beyond that. Getting a macro hatch, this this is actually a, a neat little trick. Uh, this creates a little choke for Zurich, which is usually very difficult to do. You can also do this with an evo chamber there and an evo chamber there, and then actually wall it off with a spine crawler in the middle. Spine crawlers now, by the way, are actually zergling tight. They did not used to be in Wings of Liberty. You have a counterattack coming in for Kingslayer. Matt is able to push this back. No banelings to defend. Oh, excuse me. He does have two banelings at the top of his ramp, exactly as he should. And I'm actually not sure if this is game one or two. That is a very good question. Somebody, If somebody could find that out from someone who has been arranging the games, that would be cool. Or if anyone actually knows. This may be game three for all I know. Alright, we do have some mutas coming out for both sides. Nine about to finish. Let's see the muta counts. We have six for Matt, seven for Kingslayer. So Kingslayer is actually ahead in the muta count. Just due to that superior economy that he was able to get up and keep up. And Matt's is low on both minerals and gas. Just did not have the drone count early on. Alright, now it really comes down to the third, because that third is for the gas. And if you have more gas, you have more mutas, and if you have more mutas, you will win. So Matt's not trying to take his third yet. He does need to know about this, and he will see it with his Overlord. So he needs to take this out now. Oh, but I'm not sure if this is a good... I think he has more mutas in this spot right now, and it will snowball very quickly. Oh, equal amounts of mutas! Depends on the Glaive bounces and the target firing. Two Mutas. Okay, and that gets pushed back just barely. That was just razor thin. And you do not want to lose lose your Mutas. That was uh, actually a surprisingly even trade. That's usually not what happens when Mutas fight Mutas. Do have a sizable force of Lings coming out. Does have plenty of Banelings back home to defend this, though. So he should be okay as long as he controls well enough and Mats does not do some ninja tactics. Does some, some Banelings trying to sneak up from behind, but... Oh, those Spinecrawlers are going to make 
very, very easy work of this. And Baneling's coming in from behind. Will absolutely clean that up. Does have Baneling speed as well, which is very, very handy right about now. Zergling's trying to come in and do some damage, but this should be easy. Yeah, at this point, it has been fended off. And this third stands with gas already on the way, which is the absolute most important point of all of this. Kingslayer now with a Muta Force coming out, chasing back more Mutas of Maths. May have to turn around. Also getting that plus one armor, but Maths has his plus one armor up first faster, which is very, very key. That plus one armor, the Mutalus Glaive Bounce, gets reduced by one for every armor. So plus one armor on your Mutalus makes Muta versus Muta go much more in your favor, as compared to plus one attack. Because that plus one attack does not transfer over to the Glaive Bounces, only the first attack. Whereas that armor will reduce each Glaive Bounce by one, which adds up very quickly. But that won't matter if Kingslayer gets just way more Mutas than his opponent. And he does have plus one armor of his own on the way, which is very important. Matt's coming in here, seeing what he can do. He does have the armor advantage right now. I'm not sure if he should fight this. It's always so hard to judge how many mutas you have compared to your opponent. When it's just a massive chaos of visuals like this. And it does look like he is going to drive that back, and he should be going home now. Oh, he stops! Might be able to take that. No. 15 mutas for King, 12 for Mats, and he is now taking his third base, but it's much more behind Kingslayer. Kingslayer was just the superior economy all game. He's been kind of dictating the pace. Fending off those attacks for Mats very nicely. So, plus one armor. Is going for plus one attack after that. Plus one armor for Kingslayer, going to finish up shortly. Trying for another expansion down here. Uh. Kingslayer might scout that very shortly. He hasn't actually checked for the third, which is surprising. Sending a Zergling around. Again, I'm such a huge proponent of scouting, which he's going to do. He's going to see that, and that Zergling is actually going to go check as well for another third. Baneling's coming in. Oh, that could be... Oh, that was absolutely devastating. He was not watching for a moment, and he just lost all his lings. Those Banelings were absolutely beautiful, but the Mutas remain unanswered. Then again, a mute attack down here. We might have a base race. Oh, takes out the Spire. That's a, that's even more important than any sort of who's getting what upgrade. So speaking of upgrade, did he get? He did get the plus one armor finished in time. He is rebuilding that Spire, but he's not going to be able to produce more mutas in the meantime. Matt's coming up here with another counter attack, doing huge, huge damage to the third now. Kingslayer kind of falling apart with all this multi pronged aggression, chasing the mutas back with his own. Mats does have to run, it does not have the Muta count to support it, but he is building 9 more Mutas behind that, and with this attack, he might have crippled King enough to get his own third up and running, get that gas going, and get the Muta count in his favor once more. Now, these Mutas do not want to stop, they're just moving in, they're taking out what they can. But a Queen to help, if that Queen can get in there and help. Maybe some transfuses, but yes, some transfuses. Beautiful trans, beautiful transfuses from Matt's, keeping that that one mutalus alive much longer than possible. But oh, there just isn't quite enough to hold off the mutus that Kingslayer already had, and he might have just pushed through to victory with that. Wow, that that was a beautiful ZVZ, very back and forth. Well played for both. Kingslayer with the superior economy for too long. Matt's crippled it at the very end, but it was just too little too late. Alright. Beautiful game.